This quick video will show you how to use the case studies zip file. So the first thing to do is to download the zip file. And you'll see as I move across here, I've just downloaded the zip file. There it is in my download section, case studies. And now I'm going to move it across into a folder where I want it to be. So here I've put it in a folder, documents, testing. Now what I need to do is of course extract it. So I do extract all. And that's now processing. And you'll see I've now got the case studies folder here in my testing folder. And here you'll see all the files that are in there. Next what I'm going to do is go to MATLAB. So I've opened MATLAB and what I need to do is move the folder, which you can see at the top here, to match the folder where these case studies files are stored. So I'm going to do that. I'm basically going to go, and there's the testing folder that I was testing, case studies, select folder. So now if I type what in MATLAB, you will see all the files appear. Now the only file that you need to run is this one here called case studies, but this is a live script. So the way you use live scripts is you don't type the name in the command window, rather you open them first using the editor. So I'm going to go here and go open, select open, and now I'm going to find the case studies files. There it is, case studies, and press open. So that will now open, and here it is. Okay, now live scripts can be organized into sections. You'll see with these blue lines here that separate the sections. So the way this file is written is you run one section at a time. So I'm going to start with this first section, passenger comfort, and press basically run section. And when you do that, the GUI, the relevant GUI will open. Here it is, and I can basically run that GUI and play around. I'm not going to talk about it in detail because information is already given in the live script. So I can close that. Now, you'll see there's several other GUIs, all in separate sections. So for example, I could go to this one, case study on the telescope or radar tracking. Go up here, press run section, and the GUI will open. Here it is. And for example, without making any edits, I can press start, and you can see there, off it goes. The GUI is doing its job, and I can make changes. And as I make changes, you'll see the GUI itself will change. Okay, so enough on that. Hopefully that's enough instructions so you can get on and do this yourself.